I always will be there for him. Okay, you know, uh, Chrissy's son, very into King Kong. I'm very much a Zilla dude. Love the Godzilla. Uh, let's see here. A pitch meeting, Godzilla, King Kong. So, you have a sequel to Monkey Punch Lizard for me? Yes, sir, I do. And I was thinking we mix it up this time and Monkey and Lizard punch together. Oh, who they punch? Other Monkey and other Lizard. Yeah, say no more. Okay. Yes, I do, E. Red. Okay, yes, I you do, can buddy. say more now. Okay, so remember the human characters from the last movie? <laughs> Absolutely not. Well, they're back. Oh boy. So there's that scientist Eileen who adopted that kid Gia, who's the last surviving member of the Iwi tribe from Skull Island. Vaguely familiar sounding, sure. And there's this signal coming from Hollow Earth that seems to be giving Gia visions and hallucinations and stuff. In other words, hallucinations. Yeah, I guess. And so Godzilla seems to react to these signals too, and he attacks a power plant and absorbs all the radiation. Why does he do that? Well, Monarch seems to think he's preparing for something. Oh, what do they think he's preparing for? The end of the movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> By the way, Monarch is very good on HBO. You guys, personally, I like Monarch. It's it's a it's a Godzilla spinoff on HBO, and uh, I do like I do like Monarch. What's going on with Kong? Oh, a whole bunch of stuff. He's What's living up, down in Hollow Thanks Earth, and he's lonely, months, and he has bro. a toothache. What? So he comes back up to the surface, and this new wait, character wait, wait, Trapper, who's like, wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second here. Hold on a second. What's going on here? Do we have salad vibes already? Morning, incoming salad vibes. What, what am I seeing right here, man? This is supposed to be Kong. This is supposed to be the most fierce, fierce. Get out of town, man. <laughs> Get out of town. And he has a toothache. What? So he comes back up to the surface and this new character Trapper, who's like a vet for Titans, is going to help him with the tooth. What are you talking about? He's going to like pull the tooth out with the crane, replace it with a big fake one. He just had a giant fake tooth That's replacement like a, line. That dude's like a Bradley Cooper lookalike, man. He, he, you know, like I, every time I see that actor in a movie, the movie's never good. Hang around? Yes. And so now a Thank team you, has Red. to go down to Hollow Earth to check out this signal. So who do they send? Well, Eileen's running this show, so she brings <laughs> right, Trapper. Right. A pilot right. guy, sure. A conspiracy theorist podcaster, because he was in the last movie, and a child. <laughs> That's the team. It is. Yeah, it says so right here. Uh, at least they have the pilot guy. Oh, he immediately gets eaten by a tree. Oh, okay. At least they have the uh, dentist guy. They sure do, sir. And so, oh. meanwhile, Kong discovers a secret world below Hollow Earth. There's a Hollow Earth under Hollow Earth. That's what we're going with. So, in Hollow Earth, he encounters some big monkeys like him, including a baby one. Oh, no, what? What is going on here? Stop it. Stop. Very cute. Yeah, but the little monkey bites his hand and the others attack, so he uses the baby monkey as a baseball bat to fight them all off. Uh, using a child as a weapon is tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now what does he do? Well, he makes the little kid bring him to the leader, so they go on this quest and do some, like, God of War style bonding. Some what? Some The Last of Us style bonding. Some what? Some Mandalorian style bonding. Some what? Some Logan style bonding. Some what? Grizzled old fighter bonds with child as they travel. Oh, okay, gotcha. So they eventually get to this place with a bunch of monkeys being ruled by Scar King. What? How Mufasa's brother get down there? No, he's just a big bad monkey, and he controls a lizard called Shimo that has, like, ice breath. I mean, this thing knows what it's like to chew five gum. Uh-oh. Yeah, so Kong gets in a fight with them, and the lizard freezes his hand. Oh, no. So he retreats back to slightly less hollow earth, and the humans have to help him. I'm, I'm having even a hard time getting through this pitch meeting, and Ryan George is fucking hilarious, but this looks so bad. He's saving my life again. He's saving my life again. Again, the criticism I got on the YouTube comments were, oh, DG, you didn't even watch the movie. You, you got to watch the movie to watch a pitch meeting. And they got the flip script. They got the script flip. They don't understand the flip script. They got the flip script. <laughs> they don't even understand. This dude's saving my life because when I see a movie that's on this channel, I know not to watch the movie. You understand? They're saving my life. These are all the movies that Christy loves. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna kill me for that one, but but seriously, the truth. <laughs> this dude's saving my life. I owe this man. Does this guy got a Patreon? I need to go over there. <laughs> 
And also, yes, I saw that um, Exploder was saying that um, Fallout is amazing, and I, I saw that from Discord uh, fans in the DG360 Discord, and I'm very much looking forward to watching that. I'm going to push that one on Christy. I'm out now. I mean, it's going to be impossible for the humans to do anything about a giant frozen monkey right, hand. Actually, right, it's dude. going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yes, he turns out there was a scrap project to make Kong a big armored exoskeleton. How are they going to get that all the way down to Hollow Earth and set it up on Kong? Well, actually, this glove is kind of right next to where they are, so Trapper just goes to get it, and it slips on Kong's hand like a what glove, because it is one. Seriously? What that's what doing? I wrote here, sir. And the robot glove also helps with what this frostbite, doing? because that's part of the robot glove. It helps... Uh, with with frostbite. Okay, I'm sorry. What, 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 what are they doing? Who, who was, I understood when there was a writer's strike that shit was bad, but like, isn't the strike over? Like, what, what's going on? Are these the leftovers from the strike that they're, like, the writing is all monumentally bad. I think I gotta, I mean, these movies have been silly, be but I gotta draw you. the line at some it point. That's be, just. Dude. Come on. If we shoot this, you get to Look sell robot-handed Kong Look toys. Look at all Z. Just try to undo what you said. It did. Yeah, did it work? It did. Sick. So anyway, then Godzilla's going to kill a titan to remind us that he's in the movie. Oh, yeah. Going to turn pink, too. That's a different kind of toy N you can No, no, no. What are you doing to me? Oh, you can't take Godzilla and turn him pink. What are you doing to me? My God, what is going on here? There's nothing but fart. There is literally nothing but fart on this. What are you doing? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm going to go crazy right now. I'm going crazy. Morning. Incoming salad vibes. Two salad vibes on one video. I don't think that's ever happened before in the history of the, of DG360. Two salad vibe warnings on one video. So, sure. And Eileen finds some hieroglyphics that explain that Scar King once tried to take over the surface world, Holy but Godzilla shit. stopped him and trapped him in what the Hall of Earth. Okay. And also there's a prophecy that Gia is the key to reawakening Mothra. Who's the key to stopping Scar King again? She gets all that from some hieroglyphics? Yeah, we needed an exposition dump, so she's going to read them like a newspaper. Well, okay then. So now Kong needs Godzilla's help. Is it time for the big final fight now? Yeah, we've delayed the promise of the premise long enough it's time to fight oh wow 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 but first as a bonus fight godzilla and kong are gonna fight for a minute because godzilla doesn't understand what's happening he is a large pink lizard right why would large lizard have any context for what's going on with underground dude 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 do these people not understand what we want from a godzilla king kong movie we want rampage we want rampage you remember that game that old school game rampage that's what we want we want fighting and climbing on buildings and death and destruction. Fucking goddamn. It's so easy. The recipe is easy. Give me an hour and a half of them fighting each other in different environments, period. I don't need actors. I don't even need a story. Just have them fight each other for an hour and a half. That's it. Why can nobody figure this? This is the, the easiest recipe of all time. This is, you, you take Godzilla, you take King Kong, and you let them fuck each other up for an hour and a half. That's it. There doesn't need to be a script. Just let them fight all over the world. Destruction, people screaming. That's it. What is the problem here? giant monkeys. Yeah, so Godzilla does a suplex to Kong, and Kong throws some sand in his face. This is happening in Cairo. Sure. And just as large oh, pink lizards about style. to kill big monkey, large moth. By the way, homage homage to uh, Rampage, which is an old school game, and, and only the most old school understand Rampage was the shit. Mad style, God bless you, dude. I love you. <laughs> he understands. Mad style always understands. We're always on the same page, man shows up and telepathically explains the situation right, to right. lizard splendid eating so then there's people. gonna be a bunch of fights I, I forgot i forgot eating people see this is this is this is better this thing is and they're gonna the kill direction. about 750 pink fins, pink fins. <laughs> situation to lizard splendid so then there's gonna be a bunch of fighting and they're gonna kill about Going on here, I can't even fucking finish this shit. 
about 750,000 people in Rio. Oh my god, that's literally devastating. Not a single character will react to it, and now Scar King wants to use Shimo to make another Ice Age. Not good, quite cold. But the good titans destroy the crystal he was using to control his lizard, so then they freeze him and shatter him dead. Oh, close one, that monkey almost did an Ice Age. <laughs> two monkeys, two lizards, and a moth stopped it. Blended. And so that's about it, what do you think? I mean, I always enjoyed bashing my action figures together as a child, and this sounds like a multi-million dollar version of that. You think people are gonna want to see it? Well, you said Godzilla suplexes Kong, and Kong uses a baby Kong as a baseball bat? I did. We'll be fine. <sighs> Hi, everybody. Ryan George here. Thanks so much even, for watching. I can't even continue. I just, I'm done. I should have ended that video a long time ago. No offense against Ryan George, but that had so much salad vibes all over it. I, I can't even believe this.